Hi, Dr. Talbot here to talk about the first of the four pillars of health, manage oxidation. If you've ever noticed an apple turning brown shortly after being cut open, or an old car with rust spots all over it, you've actually seen the results of a normal process called oxidation. Within our bodies, oxidation takes place on the cellular level, and that is our focus in this video, because managing oxidative balance is the first key pillar of health for building vigor. One simple definition of oxidation is that it describes what happens when oxygen combines with another substance. On a somewhat more technical level, oxidation refers to the loss of at least one electron when two or more substances interact. Typically, this happens within our cell membranes and leads to cells that cannot communicate effectively or function normally. How are these electrons lost? They're stolen by highly reactive oxygen molecules called free radicals. Many health conscious readers who are watching this video are familiar with the term antioxidant and understand that it refers to vitamins such as vitamin C and vitamin E that we call antioxidants that can protect us from these free radicals. Free radicals are so highly reactive and potentially damaging because they have an unpaired electron that wants to pair with another electron. Unfortunately, free radicals often try to take that needed electron from proteins and lipids in our cells, which creates microscopic damage to cellular structures and leads to tissue dysfunction. Perhaps even worse than the direct damage to DNA and cellular structures is that the damage in one part of the cell can set off a chain reaction of damage that can be propagated from one part of the cell to another part of the cell. Just as a campfire spark jumps from tree to tree in a forest and leads to a wildfire. Free radicals are not necessarily bad for us. A certain amount of cellular damage is actually needed for normal physiological functioning, including normal glucose transport, mitochondrial genesis, and muscle hypertrophy. However, unchecked or excessive free radical activity is what leads to the cellular damage, the oxidation, and the cycle of inflammation and tissue dysfunction that follows. Cells are typically able to protect themselves from free radical damage through internal antioxidant enzymes, as well as through antioxidant nutrients found in the diet. Substances such as vitamin C, vitamin E, thiols, flavonoids, carotenoids, each of these can quench free radicals by donating their own electrons. In my book, The Secret of Vigor, I write in detail about the free radical theory of disease, where our body's own internal antioxidant defenses can become overwhelmed by free radicals, and the antioxidant network, which is a coordinated and synergistic approach whereby dietary antioxidants help to prevent oxidation to maintain health and restore vigor. Remember, as long as the body is not overrun by free radicals, it can generally prevent or repair normal day-to-day -day oxidative damage. The trick to fighting those free radicals, as with so many other aspects of health, is to find the right balance, specifically the right balance of antioxidants. When it comes to antioxidant nutrition, our best approach is to eat five to 10 servings of brightly colored fruits and vegetables throughout the day. In general, brighter is better, with each color group representing a major class of antioxidants from red tomatoes, orange carrots, blueberries, purple grapes. You might want to try to get as many servings of each color group as possible every day, because even though a particular color indicates a predominant family of antioxidant nutrients, each fruit or vegetable contains hundreds of other antioxidant nutrients that work together to deliver balanced protection against free radicals. If you have trouble consuming all the fruits and vegetables that you need, and you choose to supplement your diet to boost your antioxidant levels, then keep this in mind. It's the overall collection of several antioxidants that's important, not any single super antioxidant. Often, you'll see advertisements touting the best or the most powerful antioxidant nutrient. But recent research clearly shows us that supplementing with too many isolated or unbalanced antioxidants may be even worse for long-term health than getting too few antioxidants. 
Excessive levels of antioxidant supplementation, for example, too much isolated vitamin E or beta carotene, can actually lead to more oxidation and tissue damage rather than protection from oxidation. That happens because under certain circumstances, excessive doses of unbalanced dietary antioxidants can become pro-oxidants. In other words, instead of fighting oxidation, this excess intake of nutrients can actually promote it. As stated earlier, and worth stating again because it's a crucial point when it comes to antioxidant supplementation, more is not better because it's the overall collection of and the balance between several antioxidants that's most important rather than any single super antioxidant. Just as with other aspects of your health and lifestyle, if you keep the concept of balance in mind when it comes to your antioxidant nutrition, then your body will be healthier and stronger and more able to respond to the demands of living, working, and playing at the highest level possible. In the Secret of Vigor book, I provide a great deal of detailed information on the pros, cons, safety, and dosage recommendations for specific antioxidant nutrients. And you can find out more about those supplements at vigorbook.com. Let's recap the process of oxidation because excessive oxidation saps vigor while managing this process is one way to strengthen this key pillar of health. Overexposure to free radicals and the cellular oxidative damage they can cause leads to tissue dysfunction, DNA damage, reduced mitochondrial energy production, and the ill health that we generally recognize as aging and burnout, which represents a complete loss of vigor. Too much oxidation is bad. That should be pretty easy to understand. Free radical damage can be reduced by the balanced activity of internal antioxidant enzymes and dietary antioxidant nutrients. Remember, not too few or not too many. The sum of the antioxidant network is more effective than its individual parts. In practical terms, this means that you want to consume a variety of antioxidant nutrients every single day. For example, consuming more flavonoids found in berries, grapes, and citrus fruits can help prevent the oxidation and prevent the loss of vitamin C as well as increase cellular levels of glutathione which can further both switch on DNA repair enzymes and help regulate chronic inflammation and immune function. Unfortunately, in building vigor, we can't just manage oxidation and stop there because the process of oxidation also impacts inflammation, most notably and directly via the activity of our immune system. In the next video, I'll delve into health pillar number two, controlling inflammation. I hope to see you there. This is Dr. Sean Talbot. Thanks for watching.